Your Francis Vendetti, an aspiring artist and nephew of the now dead folk legend Johnson Vendetti. You come from a small Colorado town, one with great expectations of you and thus casting a shadow over what you want. The Artful Escape is another marvelous and beautifully presented indie from publisher Annapurna Interactive that takes you on a journey of aspirations, dreams, and self-discovery. But before we jump into this review, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay up to date on my reviews. Any comments and likes on the video also helps it come up in search, so let me know. What's your favorite Annapurna game? Francis Vendetti grew up in a small town in Colorado, and as early as he can remember, he's always wanted to play music. His uncle, who he never got a chance to meet before he passed away, went down in history as one of the greatest folk musicians of all time, now casting a shadow over his family and leaving his nephew with great expectations. For Francis, it's a lot of pressure, and on the eve of his first performance, he finds himself struggling to process it all. All around town are posters for the sold out performance by the nephew of the legend Johnson Vendetti. It's a lot to take in for young Francis and it leads him to an extraordinary out of this world journey of self reflection and discovery. The story that ensues will take you to the various corners of the universe as Francis discovers just who he really is and what he wants in life. Without going into specifics for the sake of spoilers, the Artful Escape truly lives up to its name. For about 8-10 to 10 hours, it provided an artful escape away from the worries of life and the world as I watched Francis unfold into the very person he was meant to be. The story is told through various cutscenes and in-game dialogue that I was happily surprised to see was fully voiced, at least for the most part. The portrayal of characters, dialogue writing, and the overall story composition left me enamored and invested in the game, instantly getting me excited to write this review the moment I rolled credits on it. The Artful Escape follows a 2D adventure game setup where you'll be talking to NPCs, getting their reaction on things, and answering their questions. Francis on occasion will get a chance to give their own opinion on something that will eventually change the dialogue of later sections of the game. While these choices don't dramatically change the outcome of the ending, having that little bit of input with some actual reflection in the story was quite nice. Outside of the interactions with characters and speaking, the rest of the game will throw you into performances where you play for some truly cosmic audiences. Francis will platform their way across exotic locations as they reach their next stage performance. It's here that the formula starts to reveal itself. Francis journeys to a new location, finds a stage, and through a game of Simon Says, performs a song that dramatically impacts the world around him. I would have loved to see a bit more variety in its platforming, as later sections of the game introduce some new elements, but not enough to truly feel innovative in comparison to the start of the game. While it seems shallow on paper, in practice it's memorizing, in part because of the music and the visuals, but also just the impact of some scene. Francis for the most part came off as a dork, a nobody, just some aspiring musician. However, through the gameplay and its writing, he quickly becomes who he's meant to be, or rather avoids who he isn't. And seeing that progressively evolve with every performance genuinely put a smile on my face. Man, this game is absolutely gorgeous. To simply put it, the Artful Escape masterfully creates a setting unlike any other game I've played. The worlds are vibrant, colorful, and jaw-dropping. Whether it's the incredibly realistic water or the magical looking particle effects in reaction to the music, I was encapsulated by every corner of the screen. The 2D art style feels familiar, reminiscent of Night in the Woods and After Party. However, this game has a lot more action and movement throughout its gameplay that it helps it stand out among the rest. I played on an Xbox Series X for review. Performance targeted 4K 60 frames per second, and while the resolution was long, the frame rate wasn't. While most of the game does maintain that 60 frames per second gameplay, there's a handful of moments where I transition between rooms or a cinematic would start and I could see the frames dip down to the 40 to 50 frames range, leaving a noticeable stutter in my gameplay capture. I even noticed my Series X started to get pretty warm in comparison to some other games I played on it for review in the last few months. Needless to say, this game really put the console's power through its paces, and I think the environmental design, cinematic cutscenes, and the overall presentation is evident of that. From the moment the ballad folk music played on the main menu, I was instantly captured. It reminded me of one of my favorite films, Inside Lewin Davis, a film about a New York folk singer struggling to make a name for themselves. What I learned over the next 8-10 to 10 hours playing this game was a lot of parallels between this film and the game. The beautiful soundtrack composed and performed by Johnny Galvatron and Josh Abrahams is nothing short of fantastic. There's a mix of folk and rock music, the two genres seemingly ever present throughout the story. Despite how they clash, they feel like two halves of the story that strike a balance. See a blonde haired boy, he be playing in the fields, and his daddy lifts him up on his steering wheel. Hey, you're Johnson Vendetti's kid. 
Nephew. Sure, whatever. Saw the Flyers free show, man. Probably won't check it out, though. Okay, whatever. Don't mean nothing nasty, honestly. The Artful Escape finds ways to marvelously present these songs too, in some of the most epic and cinematic moments of its story that for the sake of spoilers, you'll just have to play for yourself to experience. Regardless, I will say that this is one of the many Annapurna games that even if you don't play it, you gotta check out the soundtrack once or if it ever gets released. I'll definitely be picking it up on vinyl if I get the chance. The Artful Escape is but another notch in Annapurna Interactive's pedigree of beautifully crafted games that left me with an emotional and thought-provoking ending. While it does sadly suffer from some occasional performance dips, the blemish doesn't take away from the impact, nor disrupt the marvelous story being told. Upon finishing this game, I immediately wanted to talk to someone about it and just say, go play this game. Being in my mid-twenties, I think it's a moment in time that I and many of my friends find ourselves in. Still trying to figure out what we want, and Artful Escape is just that, an Artful Escape from it all.